Are you tired of manually spending hours cutting up your long form videos into TikToks and IG Reels? Or maybe you're using Opus Clip, but you want something that's more affordable or maybe on a lifetime deal? Well, SnapCut could be an alternative, but is it any good? Let's find out. If you're looking for the best AI powered tools to grow your business, you will definitely want to check out my Notion spreadsheet of my favorite SaaS tools that I highly recommend. Now, if you want access to this free Notion doc, click the link in my description. Now, SnapCut is an Opus Clip alternative in that it transforms your long form videos into IG Reels, TikTok videos, and YouTube Shorts. And it's currently on AppSumo for a lifetime deal starting at $49. And this deal is tied to all future pro plan updates. And these are all the features included in all plans. And I do have a couple of red flags that I wanna share with you in a moment, but I do like how this deal is structured. You can purchase between tier one up to tier three. And the only thing that's different is the total number of processing minutes per month. So the processing minutes are the length of the long form videos you upload into the tool. So say for example, if you have a 20 minute long form video that you upload, it'll take up 20 minutes of your total processing minutes per month. So if you plan to repurpose tons of long form videos, then you'll definitely want to get the higher tiers. But if you're just doing a handful, then tier one is just fine. Now they included a link to their roadmap. So we can see here they completed B-roll video templates and translation subtitles, but apparently nothing is in progress and a handful of features that are not started. So this is one red flag that I am noticing. Another thing that I'm noticing is that on their website, if you click on feature requests and feedback, this is the roadmap that's tied to their website. So there's a couple of comments for feedback, but when you click on roadmap, uh, there really is nothing in their roadmap that's linked from their website. So just taking a look at this doesn't give me too much confidence in how much they are developing the tool. Okay, now this is the SnapCut dashboard. One thing that I really like is the UI. It looks really modern and it's very simple to use and it's easy on the eyes. So to start, you can drag your long form videos here and keep in mind, they don't necessarily need to be long form. They can be maybe 20 seconds long, 30 seconds long, and you could use SnapCut to apply the automatic captions. You can also start by pasting your link right here. They can come from YouTube, Dailymotion, Facebook, Instagram, Loom, Twitch, Dropbox, and Vimeo. And in terms of the content of your video, they should be things like video podcasts, speeches, reviews, commentary, and they have here learning videos as well. So earlier today, I recorded a 27 second uh, video with my phone and I uploaded it into a uh, SnapCut and it's right here. So SnapCut analyzes your video and turns it into various clips. Now, since my video was just 27 seconds long, they didn't really create any clips. They basically just trimmed the beginning and the very end where there was some silence. You can see a preview right here. So I've been making videos since 2020. So that's the first one and this is the second one and it's essentially the same. So I've been making videos since 2020. And you can read an overview of what this clip is about and they give you an overall score for this individual clip. And the tool created a transcript of the clip as well that you can read right here. And you could do a few things here right off the bat. So you can download the raw video without the caption. You can also download the caption only in SRT file. And this is how the file looks like with just the captions. And you can also download this video and that's basically what you see right here with the captions as you see it in this preview. So it looks like this. So I've been making videos since 2020 and the number one thing I learned to keep people engaged is to cut. Did you know I cut about 55%? And we can edit the video. So I'm gonna click on edit video. And the first thing we can do is choose from a variety of templates for our captions. There's Cara, Monty, Simple, and these other three right here. After you select your template, you can choose uh, the font color, the font size, and also the 
position and the highlight colors as well. You can also save all of these settings as templates as well. So if you click on my template, I created this one right here. So this is the font color, the size, the position, and the highlight colors. And you can also choose between the various animations. So if I go here and click on the pencil icon, we can choose the font family, the weight, if the font has additional weights, colors, a shadow of the caption. Let me play the video. So I've been making video. And then you can see the preview on the right hand side, change the stroke, and also the animation as well. So here is a deep diver. And the number one thing I learned, there's scale up to keep people engaged is to cut. I kind of like the fade option. And then we can name the template as well, then just click on save. So now you don't need to, you know, go in here and remember all of your settings. You can just go to your My Templates and select your template to apply it on the video. We can also change the dimension of the video as well to square, portrait, or landscape. Now, one thing to note is that you cannot cut anything or move things around. Basically, what you see here is what you get. If you want, you can also change the X position as well. And we can review and edit the captions. So we can delete words, add words, and also highlight some words as well. So for example, since 2020, I can turn that into the green highlight. We can also add a line break and also remove words as well. Now let me play this. So I've been making videos since 2020. Okay, so there you go. Since 2020 is highlighted. Videos since 2020. And you can change the uh, Y position of this text and the size. You can also completely hide it or just delete it. Next is the Brand Studio. So the Brand Studio as of right now is essentially your logo that you can apply and also the intro and the outro. So I turned on the Brand Studio so you can see the logo here and you can also see the outro at the very end. So let me show you how that looks like. Aging as possible. Okay, so that is the outro that I created using wave.video and then I uploaded it into my brand studio. And you can also add B-roll as well. So you can highlight any text where you want the B-roll to appear. They have AI generated B-rolls coming soon. Now if you click on add B-roll, you can choose between free videos or free images from Pexels. As you can see here, I did add a B-roll for uh, this part of the sentence. And we can change the B-roll or remove it. And also this sentence as well, I added B-roll there. Now let me show you how they look like. So I'm going to play my video. So I've been making videos since 2020 and the number one thing I learned to keep people engaged is to cut. Did you know I cut about 55% of my videos before I hit publish? That way I can make sure they watch until the end. So before you hit publish, make sure you trim as much as possible of your videos so they can be as engaging as possible. Okay, so that's my entire video with the B-roll and also the Brand Studio applied. And you'll notice that the caption was kind of off um, towards the beginning of the video and that's because I did change this Y position. But I think there is a bug because for whatever reason, I cannot see that in this video preview. So I just kind of need to find the timestamp and then go in here and then change it. But at the same time, when I change it, I cannot see uh, the preview, which makes things a little hard to kind of edit properly. So once you are done, you just click on uh, download. Now I tried downloading this earlier and for whatever reason, I couldn't hear the audio. Um, I tried refreshing it, I tried editing it again, uh, saving it, but for whatever reason, when I export the video, the audio is not there. And also when I try to save changes, I click on save changes and then sometimes it doesn't save. So I need to refresh the page and try to save it again. But it looks like it did save this time. Let me go back to edit video. Okay, so yeah, it actually didn't save because this is the old template for the captions. So I've been making But it looks like it did save some parts like this highlight here. It's not the correct color or the correct template or font, but you do see it's kind of up here because I was changing the Y position right here. Now let me try to, okay, so now when I change it in terms of the Y position, I could see the preview. So it is kind of buggy, okay? 
Now let me show you the video that I exported um, without the audio. So the audio isn't, um, you can't listen to the audio. So this is my video here. So yeah, you cannot hear the audio. I tried, um, I tried multiple times, but for whatever reason, the audio, um, I couldn't hear the audio. Now let's go back. I'm just gonna click leave without saving. Okay, so this is one use case of recording yourself using your phone and then using SnapCut to apply the captions. Now, originally, I wanted to publish this video on my TikTok so you can actually take a look at it. But again, when I tried to download the video, the audio wasn't there, so I didn't upload it into my TikTok account. Now, I also tested this by uploading a long form video. So this is a nearly 23 minute uh, long form video by Channel Makers. So I basically just uh, copied the share link and then I pasted it right here. And this is the project. So I think this is where the power of SnapCut comes into play because it analyzes your long form video and then it creates all of these short form um, videos. And they are actually pretty good. Let me just play a couple of them. Content buckets. Can I explain what that is first? Sure. Content buckets are different groupings of the videos that you're going to put on your channel. But the mistake people make is they tend... So that's the first one about content buckets. And then this one is about audio quality. So again, this long form video is the secrets to YouTube success, our ultimate tier list. So they basically are going through their list of how to create successful um, YouTube videos. Um, they don't have chapters here. So it's not like the AI is just looking at the chapters, but the AI analyzed uh, the transcript and it accurately cut up this long form videos into the actual um, each list in what they mentioned here. So this is the second one about um, audio quality. Audio. Audio, I'm gonna say uh, B. B? I would think, I would think, uh? As far as, as So again, as you could see here, it's better if you just record your face and not show any other graphics because if you do show other graphics, it'll look like this, which, which might not always look good in the real format at least. But one thing I do like is how the video does change to the speaker um, that's talking. I think that's very helpful. Now let's go ahead and edit uh, this video. So I wanna focus on this timeline here. So again, you cannot move things around. You cannot crop anything. Basically what you see is uh, what you get. Yeah, and you cannot delete any uh, particular parts of the video. So that's one uh, limitation that I see with this editor. But same as the other one, you can you know choose your templates, even select the one that you've saved, review the captions, apply or remove the brand studio. See, when I uh, turn it off, you can see the outro disappears and also the logo. If I turn it back on, you could see the logo and then the outro. And then you could also select which text you want the B-roll to appear. Now, one thing regarding B-roll, you cannot upload your own images or video. You are forced to use the videos or images on Pexels. Now, I also wanna bring up a couple of other things. Now, if we check out the AppSumo page again, it says lifetime access to SnapCut, all future pro plan updates. So this is a little bit confusing because when I see this, I think I'm tied to the pro plan, but then it just says lifetime access to SnapCut. So when I go to my account and view my account settings, it says your plan, Spark. So it doesn't say pro plan. Now Spark, if you go to the pricing page, is uh, the free tier. And this is the pro plan right here. So this is another red flag I wanted to share with you. And one thing I'm also noticing is that it says August only 30% 30 per, 30 sale. Now as of this recording, this is December. Not sure why it still says August here, so they need to update that. And another thing I'm noticing is that for the pro plan, it says dedicated support, but there actually is no way to contact uh, support. There is no chat bubble anywhere. And if I click here, there's no link to contact support. And if I go to the website and go to pricing, pro says dedicated support. And for starter and spark, we can see here it's email for starter and spark and dedicated for pro. Now on the AppSumo page, we are tied to pro plan updates, but in terms of support, I don't think we have dedicated support. I'm taking a look at the comments from the founder 
and it looks like the only way to contact them is by emailing them at hello at snapcut dot AI. So keep that in mind. I don't think we can actually chat with support. We can only email support. Okay, so that was my SnapCut review. Now, if you want access to my favorite AI-powered tools to grow your business, you want access to this free Notion doc. I do update this constantly. Now, to get access, click the link in my description. And before you go, let me know if you enjoyed this video by smashing that like button and also subscribing to my channel. If you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.